Night river fishing was a relatively minor aspect of the sport of sea trout fishing in the middle of the last century, or at least less well publicised than daytime fishing. Although early writers such as Geoffrey Blewett, who wrote Sea Trout and the Occasional Salmon 1948, wrote enthusiastically about sea trout fishing at night. In Blewett's case on Devon's River Tavy, such nocturnal goings-on were generally considered inferior to proper daytime sport. The turning point for many was the publication of Sea Trout Fishing by Hugh Falcus in 1962, which inspired a generation to explore the exciting possibilities of night fishing for sea trout on the many sea trout rivers in Ireland and England. That book, together with the, with the latter revised and enlarged editions, is still widely regarded as the sea trout fisher's bible, a must read for those in the grip of the glorious obsession of night fishing for sea trout. Although much of what Falcus wrote in 1962 draw on the earlier writing of Blewett and others, he brought a freshness and structure, a strategy to the whole sport of night fishing for sea trout. Falcus broke a night's fishing into stages, each with its own tactics and flies, varying with the changing conditions and behaviour of the sea trout. Falcus's knowledge and extensive experience gained over many nights on his beloved Cumbrian-esque, allied to his undeniable talent as a writer, caught the public imagination and inspired many trout and salmon fishers to embark on this exciting new branch of fly fishing. He introduced a range of sea trout flies and lures, each designed to meet certain conditions during the course of a night's sea trout fishing. Such flies included the medicine, the secret weapon, the sunk lure, the surface lure. These have since been adopted in various forms as a basic starting point around which to build a selection of flies for sea trout fishing at night throughout the summer season. With the exception of the secret weapon, now largely redundant given the decline in the use of maggots, which are now banned on most sea trout fisheries, these flies and lures, or others designed for the same job, will be found in most sea trout fly boxes. There will be the single hooked flies in various sizes up to about size 4. Anything longer will often now be dressed on tubes, needles, wire shanks, or as variants of the sunk lure, often implying a body of nylon monofilament or braid with a treble hook at the tail end, as in the snake lure. So now I'd like to share with you my top 5 traditional sea trout flies. Having caught sea trout in all of these, I find them all equally effective. But before I get started, you may want to subscribe to my YouTube channel to keep up to date with the latest fly fishing tips, tricks and content I post here on a regular basis. So let's get into it. My top 5 traditional sea trout flies. Starting at number 1, the Bloody Butcher. This traditional wet fly can be fished as a mini lure with its extra flash of red hackle at the head. It makes a great attractor which can work well when large dark midge are hatching or pin fry are on the trout's menu. The Bloody Butcher has stood the test of time and comes into its own on fresh run sea trout, wild browns and rainbows. It's a real classic and should be in every fly box. Mr Moon from Toonbridge Wells, butcher by profession, originally dressed this fly somewhere around 1830. First it was called Moon's Fly. The name Butcher came up later and relates to the inventor's profession rather than the fly's fish catching abilities. Number two, the yellow peril. I first encountered this fly through a friend who swore by it on the Argadine River, a sea trout river in West Cork, Ireland. Having fished it many times myself since, I'm convinced of its success to catch sea trout. The yellow combined with the black gives a good contrast. These are superb colours for fresh run fish, sea trout and salmon, and an excellent fly to intercept a pool of fresh run sea trout. Number three, medicine. Medicine is a legendary night fly for sea trout, made famous by the ultimate sea trout guru Hugh Falcus. This fly also works well in salt water. It's a top producing fly for sea trout, sea run brown. It was created for river fishing, but in my opinion it is equally effective in the salt. The slim, silver body, kingfisher blue hackle and the dark mallard wing combines to make a convincing imitation of a small baitfish. Number 4. Peter Ross the Peter Ross was created in the 1890s as a variant of the teal and red. It has, over the last 120 years or so, become one of the best lock, lake and still water fly patterns for sea trout. I find it works well when fished as a single or as a point on a team of flies. Number 5. The Teal Blue and Silver The Teal Blue and Silver has proved itself as an ardent fish catcher especially for fresh sea trout. It is a very effective pattern during nighttime fishing and also daylight hours. Fished in small sizes on slow sinking line, 
it can be a deadly method. 